Hey guys, this is Anukiran Ghosh and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can set up WordPress on your local host along with XAMPP. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you need to download XAMPP from the link given in the description below and install it just like any other software installation process is pretty simple you need to just uh, run the setup file as administrator and follow the steps you can download XAMPP from the link given in the description below I will also provide the link in the description or else you can just search for XAMPP on Google and click on the first website and you can download it directly from there alright so after downloading and installing XAMPP open it and start apache and mysql server apache or apache whatever you call it and mysql server then click on admin of mysql server and you will get to see a pop-up from windows defender click on allow access so by default it has opened in my uh, microsoft edge browser so i will just copy the link close the microsoft edge browser and open it on google chrome and hit enter it may take some time because if you are doing it for the first time it may take some time to set up the local host on XAMPP and also to start the server so now as you can see we are now on PHP my admin click on databases as you can see it's loading now you need to enter the database name type in wordpress underscore web so this is going to be our database name and click on create then click on create you can copy the database name for further for reference future reference click on create and now you need to click on the home icon uh, where is it so as you can see under the php my admin section there is a home icon click on that then click on user accounts you need, to, you need to create a user account so click on add user account and then click on enter the username and in case of host it will be localhost type in your username and then type in your password in this case I will type in 123456 the default password <clears throat> because this is on your local host and nobody can access your local host click on check all global variables and then click on go sorry global privileges and then click on go now again click on user accounts the user has been already created now click on home now open XAMPP uh, sorry open downloads uh, we have already downloaded the wordpress from the wordpress website i will provide the link in the description below now extract the zip file click on extract files and then click on ok now open the folder extracted folder again open the folder inside it and select all the files and click on ctrl plus c i think i have not copied all the files so uh, let's again select all the files and click on ctrl plus c then go to your c drive you can see a folder called xamp here click on XAMPP and inside XAMPP there's another folder called htdocs now right click on the inside the folder and click on new new folder and enter my wordpress click on the folder go inside the folder and inside the folder create a new folder using the database name in this case our database name is wordpress underscore web now open the folder 
and inside it paste all the files that you have just now copied from the wordpress installation file now as you can see here's a file called wp config sample open the file i have opened it in my sublime text editor you can open it in your notepad now db name you need to enter your database name here in this case wordpress underscore web that was our database name and database user you need to enter your username here ekigosh and database password and now save the file localhost is local uh, host is localhost now save the file click on save close the file and now you need to rename the file just remove the sample from there this is a php file remove the sample from there and hit enter now open your google chrome browser open a new tab and search for localhost slash my wordpress and hit enter now click on the wordpress web directory this is our database wordpress database click on it and it may take some time to load now select the language uh, in this case i will go with english click on continue now you need to enter your site title let's name it demo site or we can name it blog then you need to enter your username here after entering your username here you need to copy the password generated i will just copy and paste it in my notepad now you need to enter your email you can disable the search engine visibility and click on install wordpress and then it will start installing wordpress on your local host now click on login you need to enter your username and password here again so after entering your username and password you can see that we have logged into our dashboard click on appearance then click on themes now you can search for themes here let's search for a blog all right so there are only three themes that comes pre-installed you can click on add a new theme then you can see you can upload themes as well and we can also search for it let's search for a blog let us select the first blog template click on install after installing the theme click on activate now the theme has been activated you can dismiss the notice and uh, click on begin installing plugins click on that and then you can select all the plugins bulk action click on apply let me repeat the step select all options bulk actions click on apply then you need to click on install in the drop down menu and select all the plugins and click on apply and now all the themes all the selected uh, sorry all the selected plugins has been installed have been installed 
or deselected plugins have been installed and now you can see the next steps here you can view your site click on the link there and you can view your site on your local host so this is how the site looks like you can add uh, blog post and you can see the categories here archives recent post and all other categories present in the theme so this is how you can set up wordpress in your local host along with samp so this was all about today's video please do like and share this video and subscribe my youtube channel for regular updates related to technology cyber security and ethical hacking thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next one